What's good, my amazing viewers? I apologize and I honestly, honestly apologize for not making a tutorial in like two months. I do apologize, life has been hectic and uh, let's just not talk about my life and let's just get on to the tutorial, shall we? Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful cosmic nebula space scene. Um, it's really easy and it's really fun to make, so yeah. First thing you're going to want to do, and I recommend you do, is go and find yourself an image of a nebula. Sorry. Um, this is not meant to be black and white, sorry, it's meant that's how a nebula looks. So find yourself an image of a nebula. Find yourself an image of rust and an image of moss. Okay. Once you have those three elements, we are ready to start. We go to File, New. I'm going to make my file size 1200 by 1000. Press OK. I'm going to automatically make the background color black. And we're ready to start editing. I'm going to go to my moss layer to, um, document and click on the elliptical marquee tool. Whilst holding down Shift, I'm going to make a selection. OK, as you can see. And I'm going to go filter, distort, spherize. I'm going to choose amount 100%. Then I'm going to go filter, distort, spherize again. However, this time I'm going to do 50%. And I'm going to press OK. As you can see, it's still selected. So I'm going to press Command C if I'm on a Mac or Control C if I'm on a PC. Then I'm going to go into my document and I'm going to paste Command V or Control C. Again, depending on if you're on a Mac or a PC. So that's basically our planet. I'm not going to do the other planet just to save time. You guys know how to make it. So you basically just follow the same steps. I'm going to hide the planet for now. And I'm going to make a new layer. Okay. And with this new layer, I'm going to uh, get my brush. And I'm going to go and get my palette and start coloring it in. Okay. So I'm going to get a bit of orange, um, a lot of green. Um, a bit more green, um, mainly green and pink to be honest. Okay, and I'm just going to color it in. I'm going to change the blend mode to color dodge, and I'm going to change the opacity to 60. Okay, now it looks like nothing's there, but believe me, there is something there. Okay, so now we have that, we can close our moss. Don't save. I'm going to close my rust, however, you're going to make a planet out of your rust, so you wouldn't close for now, but yeah. Um, and we're going to go to our nebula um, document. We're going to go to image, adjustments, desaturate. Then we're going to go image, adjustments, levels. Okay. Now what I'm going to do with the levels, I'm going to make it a much darker um, image with as little white as possible and mainly gray and black. Okay. So what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to drag the gray to the side and drag the black a bit to the side. And drag this white to the left, and that looks pretty damn good. Press OK, and we just drag this file into our um, document. We're going to choose screen for the blend mode, and it looks like nothing's happening. However, watch when I drag the nebula underneath the color dodge thing, it's going to automatically change its color. Isn't that just beautiful? I mean, you could be like, oh, David, why didn't you just um, not change the color of the nebula in the first thing place? But you, what would have happened is you wouldn't have had this beautiful black around the nebula. It would have just been that color that you got from Google Images or wherever you got your image from. So you can notice now, once I start dragging the image around, it does change color. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it like that because I like the color scheme. It's got red, green, and pink, okay? Now we have that sorted. We're going to unhide our planet layer, okay? And as you can see, it's pretty damn lonely. It looks nothing like a real interesting planet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate it, okay? Actually, no, sorry. We can do, actually, no, we're not going to duplicate. Sorry, I apologize. We're going to, whilst holding down Command or Control, okay? We're going to click on the thumbnail, and it will make a selection of the um, planet. I'm going to click a new layer. And we're just going to color it in uh, black. Command D or Control C to deselect. Okay. And as you can see now, we have this little um, cover up of a planet. We're going to make it a nice smooth cover up. So by going filter, blur, go
Gosanian blur, and we're going to give it a high blur. We're going to give it around, um, I'd say around 30 is quite good. Okay, and I'm going to free transform it to make it a lot bigger so it can actually cover up the planet. There we go, it looks beautiful. Okay, now we're having our planet start to make, um, to actually start making it look good. So we're going to click on our, plan our planet and we're going to change the blending options. We're going to choose, we're going to start with the uh, outer glow and change the outer glow to a nice blue. So let me drag that into there. Sorry, I have two monitors. Um, and drag it in, okay? We're going to choose the blend mode to be screen, yes. Um, size. I'm going to make it a bigger size. Okay, and that looks good. We're going to click on the inner glow. Again, we're going to click on the blue. However, this time we're going to go a bit darker, so I'm just going to drag it down. A bit to the side, probably. Yep. And this time we're going to make a lot bigger um, size than the outer glow. As you can see, the outer glow is 35 pixels. Over here, it's 76. I'm going to press OK. And that's basically our planet done. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do now, again, hold down Command or Control and click on the thumbnail of the planet. And click on the Gossain's um, uh, block of the planet, and I'm going to just right click when I have elliptical marquee tool selected, select inverse, press delete, deselect. Okay, that's looking good. And basically, that's all you need to know to start making this. As you can see, it's nothing really much different. I mean, the nebula is a different color to that, only because I use different colors. And as you can see, there's nothing really much different. Um, the other picture just has another planet. And yeah, that's basically how you make the scene. Um, it's really easy. And it's like this technique is like limitless possibilities of what you will get. So like, don't worry if yours doesn't look like mine. As you can see, this looks nothing like the other one. You always get a different... Um, uh, different results due to different images, different styles, different whatever. Basically, you just won't get the same. <laughs> I promise you, you won't. But I hope you like the tutorial. Um, I again apologize for not making a tutorial for two months. I am going to start making tutorials a lot more now because I have a lot of spare time. I'm also going to start a Dreamweaver 101 class where it's going to be a playlist full of like a hundred videos of Dreamweaver basics and all this and that. So because I know the majority of my viewers all want to know how to make websites, so I'm going to start teaching Dreamy of us. So thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter, please. Um, join the Facebook fan page. Um, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Love you all. Mwah. Adios, amigos.